Individually, what are everyone's biggest influence, musical and personal wise? Um, everyone's gonna be different, but I think it all comes down to uh, everyday life. A lot of just like things that happen to everyone in everyone's lives, like you know, whether it be you know, love, family, you know, heartbreak, uh, losing loved ones, it's just kind of inspiration to us all. Uh, I, I, that would be the general consensus for sure. If you could compare your music to another band, what would you compare yours to? It's tough. The question is always really tough because you know, no one ever wants to be like, oh, we sound like this band, or oh, we sound like this band. But you know, I'd like to think that we're more of an honest rock and roll type band. So you know, it's like maybe something closer to us, like Jimmy Eat World or Switchfoot or something like that, but uh, with a little more pop, maybe a little, little pop feel to it as well. Why did you decide to call your band Go Radio? Uh, actually, Jason, um, when he left Mayday, uh, he had always had a side project that he had wanted to do, and he wanted else, you know, because um, what, it, what it started was is our friend Neil All Day. He was in a band called Soul Sugar, and uh, he one of the things one of the things that said to Jason one time was like, you know, I hate what's on the radio right now, and you know that's the reason I want to do music is to change what's on the radio. And Jason really kind of it really inspired him a lot in a lot of ways. So he really wanted to, you know, that's really a whole go radio thing came with like just changing what's on the radio to make it, you know, a little more enjoyable than what it is now is. What is your favorite place to tour? Uh, city wise or like, cause I mean, the United States is always the best place to tour. We've only been in the Canada, but but um, Florida's always awesome. This tour um, has been great. And then we just hit Florida. And it's just awesome because we got to see a lot of family and friends and stuff like that, so it's a lot of fun. Out of all the songs on your album, what is your favorite and why? Um, mine would have to be House of Hallways on the new record, Lucky Street, because it's, uh, it's a little different. It's a little uh, kind of, I think it's a little different than most other songs on the record. It's a little more honest. It's real honest, I guess you'd say, and lyrically I like how, how it uh, flows. Cool. You've toured with a lot of different musicians. Who was your favorite to tour with? Uh, it's tough. That's a tough one because everyone's uh, a lot of fun in different ways. You know, like we were on the Day to Remember tour uh, a couple of years, a year or so ago, and that was a great tour. It was the complete opposite of our music, but all the bands were awesome. You know, we've become really good friends with the guys and Andrew Shakar and Silverstein and, and August Prince Red. So it was, um, it was a lot of fun. But I mean, each one is equally. You get to meet new people, so that was fun. But um, that one definitely stands out for me. Cool. What's your favorite venue out of all the places? Um, our favorite venue is a place called the Norva. Um, you know, we've toured there once on a Red Jumpsuit tour, and it was just a massive venue. It uh, had the green rooms were awesome. It had catering, and like the, the main green room had like a sauna and a hot tub in it, and there was like a basketball court and a pool. And it's just, it's just an awesome venue. What's the worst venue you've ever been to, or the worst? I don't want to say the worst <laughs> venue, but we, we, there's not really a worst venue, but there is um, the rave. It's not that it's the worst, but it's haunted. And every time we go there, it's, we, something always messes up or something always goes wrong. Last time we were there, Matt's bass, he was f fixing it and he was restringing it in the bus. And one of the pieces fell off and he was like, went to go pick it up and it was just gone. And later on that night, once we got done playing everything, we found it, the piece, but it was that merch inside of the venue. So it was really weird. It says it's always been messing with us. Wow. Okay, that's it. Thank you.